This show is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find the other great shows on the network, head over to the Deluxe Edition Network.com. Welcome back to the Great Bear Club podcast. Now, this is the film I really want to talk about for a good long while. I wanted to dig into the kind of like the Dracula films, the Frankenstein's, and all the stuff. So, so it's um, Dracula AD 1972. So, I, ha- I haven't actually seen much of the Hammer uh, Dracula's, but this one is set place in modern day. Like the film was done mm-hmm. in 1972, so it's meant to be Dracula in modern day. Yeah. So, uh, it's a great film. Like uh, Pierre Cush and Christopher Lee. Them two were great, like, they work together. Yeah, they lot, were quite good. We yeah. a lot of films together, them two, like, and I, I really like Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing usually plays Dr. Frankenstein in them Frankenstein films, and he, mm. he's re- he really is good. And Christopher Lee is Dracula. Now, I'm not sure if I prefer him to Bella Lugosi as Dracula. Absolutely not. I think he In my head, when somebody says Dracula, it's Bella Lugosi. Yeah, yeah. It's mad, like, because Universal had the Royce right Saldem monsters all throughout the torties and the forties and then Hammer is a British production company so they got the rights off Universal to make their own and it was around this time the first Dracula I think the first Dracula Hammer came out in 1957 mm-hmm. and basically what Hammer had done to make them stand out against the other horror films at the time was to add a load of blood into these films now yes. they kind of got cringy as they went along you can kind of almost see like a Friday the 13th formula coming off them like there's that like there's about six, seven different Hammer yeah. Dracula films, same with the Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. But this one particularly I, I do like because it's a little bit different in a way where it's set in the seventies. And yeah. instead of Van Helton, we have Peter Cushing playing a descendant of Van Helton. But Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee at the start of the film, it's like a flashback to like you know nineteen uh, also eighteen seventy two. Eighteen seventy two, yeah. And they are playing Van Helsing and Dracula. Yeah. And then you yeah. have going forward. I'm sorry before I skip ahead. The descendant of Dracula or whatever or his minion, you know, he comes and picks up his ashes and stuff. Yeah. The guy who plays him also plays a descendant. Now come on, it's seventies. It's you yeah, know. Yeah. I'm not. But I was just. Yeah. That was my little critique. That was just my critique. Yeah. Tell me what we're talking about here. And like even when okay, you yeah, when you watch a lot of them. They, like, repeating characters there's like. a lot of, like, see that film that you were talking about he's in a load of Hammer films yeah but um, I don't know I just <clears throat> I think the Hammer films have this vibe to them and I'd love to show you a good few of them like, there's one that I'm actually looking on online called Hands of the Ripper and it's a it's a play off the Jack the Ripper story but no except, way yeah but except it's Jack the Ripper's daughter that's the killer what? right you know what anything true crime killers I know yeah. it sounds so morbid but um there's something of I interest. Can't you ha- I can't believe you didn't tell me that before. Yeah, Hands of the Rippers call it. Like, um, that might be a review coming on the channel in the future. I'd well, love I, to review need, that. I want to see that. Yeah, I'm telling you, now, look, look it up there. But today we're going to talk about the Dracula AD. And it's set in. It's set in Chelsea. Yes. I think in, in England. And it's basically, as you said, some resurrects Dracula. That is kind of the formula of a lot of these Hammer films. It doesn't mm-hmm. really go off the book a lot. Like, the fact that it doesn't really have a lot to do with the book. Yeah. It's about somebody somebody bringing back uh, Dracula the whole time. But, so yeah, it's basically a, a group of friends and they're basically stoners all into acid and the whole lot. Like, it looked like a good time back in the it 70s. It looks like a good group of friends. Yeah. yeah. Like, like the right. clothes and all that they were wearing and all I they thought know, was. The like, hairstyles. That was really, like, yeah. cool looking like. But they have a weird friend and he basically brings them to an abandoned church. Hollow ground. Hello, if yeah. you will <laughs> yeah. and basically does a re- so, somehow he ends up getting his hands on Dracula's ashes because he is a descendant of okay well, yeah, yeah, do you know what yeah, I'm trying to say at yeah. the start where you're seeing Van Helsing kill Dracula he's stabbing him in the heart with the wood mm-hmm. or whatever it's called and then you know they just Dracula disintegrates and I think Van Helsing dies some random fella just pulls up on a horse yeah. gets off the horse scoops his ashes up Pops the ring on his finger. Let's go. And skeletons. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's to yeah. 72. Yeah. And it's the same fucking fella. Yeah. I know it's a repeat ca- character. Yeah. Lazy. Or, you yeah. know. Lazy. Lazy, but. Yeah. But hell never. Hell so never. that's obviously somebody. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. That's how he gets that. Anyways. Yeah. 
Uh, one of the one of the main <laughs> characters, the one of the the youngsters, like the teenagers or whatever. The youngsters. <laughs> is a. Uh, is Van Helsen's great 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 granddaughter basically. great 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 yeah. great great so they're all descendants of either Van Helsen or Dracula or yeah. Dracula's minions bloody blah, blah, blah you get it yeah. it's all repetitiveness really really good really cheesy but great 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 film, great film to watch I like actually it. when you were like right let's sit down and watch this I was like oh yeah you somebody, don't know what to expect helped me but I really liked it I loved yeah. the vibes I loved it so much the only thing I will say is they have the weirdest choice of music in the scenes yeah. I just did not get it at all remember the, the it, it's one of the first couple of scenes and it's a I think it's a house party and by the looks for it a lot of these teenagers crashed the party and how did they crash the party I like how, I don't, I didn't see get that it, like, that was that's, random that was random yeah. that like was that, just and like that, and that scene went on for so long it went on for too long I think, was, yeah, I think yeah, the band yeah, played yeah. like two or three songs throughout the whole one scene I know but, they were just yeah but honestly, if you like, if you haven't seen many Hammer films, I would love to show you a few of them because they they have that kind of little cheese off them, yeah. che- cheese off them, but they're good. Cheese. But yeah, so yeah, he was basically Dracula's disciple. He brings back the uh, black <laughs> <laughs> back to uh, Dracula back to life, and the descendant of Peter Cushion of uh, Van Helsing comes and gets him. Very simple story. But there's some great scenes in it. I just love the nostalgia look of it. I love the vibes, mm. the music. Not too bad on the music. Love the outfits. Love the hairstyles. Um, a lot of. What would you say? Oh. You're right. You're right there about the music. Though there is a lot of scenes in this. Where yeah. um, remember when uh, Van Helsing goes to the church near the end of it at the face Dracula. Yeah. And there's a big chase scene. Yeah. Dracula's chasing him up the stairs of the church. And just like this kind of mad, like upbeat music being played. Yeah, I know <laughs> and I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. Like I'm almost nodding my head to the music. It's that good. Well, but I know it sounds like an fitting. intro of a Beatles song. Yeah. And even the fourth time that they go to the church, and they're you know they're doing their little ritual, their seance, they're you know mm. crawling Dracula, and when they're all kind of running out, you know they all get scared or whatever. It's you know, know the music starts popping out. It's like, like almost like cop music. The beach like, boys, like, yeah, like Beverly Hills, like kind of. Like, no, it sounds like like everybody goes out. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, but I've wait not that much, but yeah. So yeah, uh, questionable choice for music and a lot. Of yeah. But what did did you like the acting, Charlie? Ah, well, chatter cheese. Yeah. Let's be honest, but it's the seventies. Like what? Can yeah. You, what can you say? Kind but, of ask like. Um, Awesome powers, like you know. Yeah, well, uh, not that bleeding back. No, not that bad. But, you <laughs> but know. I did, I did like Chris, I do like Chris Lee as a uh, Dracula. He adds it like a, he a doesn't bit, say much, doesn't he? No, that's actually it. like there's actually one. I'm not sure if it's this one. I think that it's another one called uh, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, and I think he says about two words throughout the whole film. Maybe it's adding to the whole mysterious mm. Prince of Darkness, Dracula. Black, but you know? I, I think the scripts were actually getting that bad because I read somewhere. Where Christopher Lee read, read one of the scripts for Dracula and he told the producers, I am not saying that. <laughs> and he was not blackmailed, but he was kind of persuaded in the way where the hammer came to him and said, Look, if you don't do this film, you'll be putting a lot of people out of work. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? So, like I say, he was a good fella, Christopher Lee, because he went on and he kept doing the films. I you know? was, he was saying what he was. He was, he's a good <laughs> fella. Like, he's, in a, he's in a lot of good films. Like, he's actually in Star Wars now. No, you're not really into Star Wars, but. Absolutely not. His character in Star Wars is called Count Dooku, after his name, after his role. Yeah, Count mm. Dracula. Cool, like, like, do you know what I mean? He is, like, yeah. he is a big. He's a legend. He's in Lord of the Rings and the whole lot. He's in a lot of stuff. Well, he ain't no Bella Lugosi. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll agree with you there. Like when I think of Dracula, I think about Bella Lugosi. He, he kind of just like Dracula's kind of meant to be like Romanian, and Bella Lugosi. I don't. He wasn't Romanian, but he, he, just, he fits, just he just yeah. fit the mold a bit better. I think Christopher Lee kind of turned him into a bit more of a, an English snob in a, in a way. Like, do like, you know what I mean? It was a good little twist on him now. When I think of Dracula, there's only two variations in my head that I'll actually accept. One is Bela Lugosi and the other one is like Nosferatu. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if we're talking about... You know, Dra- so I'm kind of looking general, at yeah. this Hammer edition of a Dracula film as kind of like an earliest, not a spoof, but like... Yeah. It's no, it was good. It was. It's not a spoof. Sorry, I take no, that back. No, it's de- it's definitely away from the source material. As I said, like yes, it has yeah. nothing to do with the books. There's yeah. no Transylvania. There's no Dracula's castle in this or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Like Dracula gets resurrected every single Hammer film. 
he just keeps going back he's not yeah. dead and like it's it's actually amazing how he, like crabs, how, he, like how he got away with like bringing them back in all these films for so long I think that's why he got like it's like so maybe that's where they played off like um, Michael Myers and I think Jason so. they well, just kept coming back like, I think so. that's a really strong point because when I watch them films I'm like Jesus Christ this is like, it feels like I'm watching Friday the 13th because you know what's coming it's, it's the same written, stuff it's written out for you yeah but, but you're still enjoying it but it's still good I'm not saying that it means like it's, it, as in it, it's a bad film it's just you know what to expect so you just sit down to watch it yes yes agreed. yeah so the director Alan Gibson I'm not not really sure there was loads of directors attached to Hammer at the time like I know Terence Fisher was the one that done the Fairy Force Dracula and done a few others mm-hmm. but yeah no I think they definitely give it a go if you haven't watched it I really want to try like, review a few more Hammer films as, you, yeah, as I said the, the Hands of the Ripper one really what was good. the one that you bought there recently you bought the actual DVD that wasn't Hammer wasn't it that was like The Hunchback oh that was The Hunchback no no that's Never a side of it uh, no I have, I have two Hammer films that, like down there but uh, definitely The Hands of the Ripper would be on the list next but I just really wanted to talk about like this Hammer film because like I think like I want to start doing a few more kind of classic kind of reviews mm-hmm. on some older yeah. f- sort of films do you know yes so We'll talk about the ratings. Would you have rated that film at the top? Um, what did you like? What did you not like? Sorry, I'm crinkling there else. Um I just I liked the atmosphere, I liked the setting, I liked the way they shot the movie, the music was not a strong part, but you know, it's whatever. I liked the acting, although it was pure cheese, like mac and cheese, mm. but every seventies film I feel like is, so it's, it fit that mold, so it wasn't extraordinarily bad yeah. do you know what I mean yeah um, what, do you ex- like, what do you expect from the 70s like, um, yeah you know? exactly like, you know? I did like the story I will say that it wasn't like painful to watch it was actually quite enjoyable I did really like it um, Christopher Lee Gitly was actually quite Gitly <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah Gitly Gitty. Uh, Gitty the Gitty fella he was obviously like he plays a stormer yeah he's a smooth he's a smooth he's cold smooth cold criminal really? He said about two wards, he was yeah. standing there and he had like the black eyeliner on and it looked like he had lipstick as well, like you know, yeah. whatever. Well, you I, know? Love, I, I love um, Peter Cushing though. But can I just say, the fella, what was his name? And he was the one summoning Dracula, what was his name? Like, I forget his first name, but his second name was like Dracula backwards, LKR or something, like LQR or something. Oh, Jesus, yeah. But, oh, the, yeah, him I though. Like that was actually really good, I forgot, that was a good point. But, I, I actually really enjoyed him as him in that film I think he was scarier than Dracula yeah he was fucking he was creepy in a lot of Intent. scenes he was he had serial killer written all over that film yeah especially when uh, Van Helsing runs into him yes like that little whole scene and he ends up dying in the shower like remember like Van Helsing had a mirror and he's, he's, he's flashing the sunlight into yeah. him like obviously vampires can't stand sunlight I was laughing kind of because he was begging Dracula for his powers yeah then he's, know, pop, he's popping around he's simping all over yeah. him, popping around London with two little bullet holes yeah. in his neck I'm thinking he's absolutely I think he's the, the dog dog's dog's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dog um, but see like see how like he, like he was blinding him with the sun like yeah. that whole that whole like uh, idea of Dracula like not like not like like in sunlight kills them actually it's no it's no threat to where the sunlight kills him I don't think it happens in the, f- the force like that's the original film that's what I'm saying Dracula either stems from Bela Lugosi or Nosferatu yeah argue with me over that I don't care tell me why true true or or the book like really like but when you think about Dracula it's, in it's, my it's, mind it's like the, that's it's, my mind it's you the know? black slick here it's Bela Lugosi's voice do you know what I mean yeah. I don't need to say the words like but or it's no scratching. No scratching. We're either going one way or the other, and if you go anyway, do you remember that Jack film? And he looked like he had a big wig on. And that's the one from the nineties. What? Yeah. Um, oh god, what was his name? Wait, bear with me. It's kind of Reeves now. That's kind of Reeves and. Bear with is all. Yeah, Gary Oldman. Gary, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman as 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 Dracula. Now the, the design in that film was actually a bit weird, but I did enjoy that one though. Did you not? Um, I'm looking for it now. Is it 1992? Yeah. Gary Oldman. That one there, yeah. Yeah, holy sh... Yeah, the, the, like... I don't know what they were thinking about the design of that. At least at least Christopher Lee's kind of sticked to the... He had, like... He had, like, two bones at the back of his head. Like, was that a <laughs> I spear know. or something? Like, and he looked about... He looked about 90. Gary Oldman, yeah. 
Oh, Keanu Reeves, wasn't that? And yeah, so was Little Young Keanu Reeves. And so was Anto Hopkins. Who's that? Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot, yeah. What do you mean? Who was Anto? Anthony, sorry, Anto. <laughs> Anto. Oh, uh. The Anto man. Um, yeah, see, so what I'm saying is if you, in my mind now, if you stray away from either Bella Lugosi or um, Nosferatu, Does it feel like you're going down the shore. Yeah, yeah. But I would, Christopher Lee, I would, I'd put him in No, yeah, place. no, that's what I'm saying, he was quite Bella Lugosi. Yeah. Like, even I'll tolerate Hotel Transylvania because your man looks like Bella Lugosi. Yeah, it's meant to be. But it's yeah. meant to be Bella Lugosi, yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Isn't it mad, though? Like, he, like it's, it's his face, it's his, the way he done it, like, starting the whole yeah, thing. Like, yeah. it's mad. Because like, otherwise, yeah. I think, like, Dracula was just, like, from the, the book, and I think there was a few plays with Dracula in it before they started coming films mm-hmm. in the 1920s and 30s, like, yeah but it's another thing I'd love to do I'd love to go back and re- review like the universal ones as well yeah but there's about 50 million different Dracula films do you know what I mean oh no or true yeah. whatever true like there's, there's so much out there to like to talk about on Dracula like, this one is just it's just different in a way like I thought so I would give it a rating of I'm going to say 6.4 6.4 just just decent decent enjoyable I wasn't gobsmacked. I wasn't expecting to be gobsmacked. Mm. Um, done the job though. It done the job. It hit nicely. There was a few things like you're going to critique. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'd give it a solid six. What did I say? Six point four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd give it. I'd give it a seven. Oh, point okay. zero. Generous. Point point zero. Just because I, I have a little soft spot for these films, and I'll be honest with you, it's not. Yeah, as I'm bad surprised you're not like a fanboy now. Here, giving it a ten out of ten. No, but no, anyways. no. There's other ones that would be higher in my hammer list. I'd be, I actually prefer the Frankenstein hammers over the Dracula's. Like, I don't know why. I think they were some great ones. Like, But yeah, I'd give it a solid 7. The, the acting was really good. I lo- love the setting of London, of uh, England. I mean. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. The setting. You I, know, thought, the I thought the clothes they were all wearing was deadly. The hairstyles. That's what I'm saying. The atmosphere. Peter Cushion was amazing. Actually, do you know what I heard about uh, Peter Cushion? The, no, how it was his granddaughter. Yeah. In it. it was actually meant to be his daughter, right? Not his yeah. granddaughter. But Peter Cushion broke up with his wife around the time of this film and aged dramatically. Oh. Yeah. I, I, well, I read that. I read that online. And she, he had to make her the granddaughter. Instead. Yeah, I was just going to say that. It'd be fucking weird. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I thought, I thought Peter Cushion was amazing in that film. And like, I love Peter Cushion. But yeah, a solid six, a, a seven, I mean. And <laughs> we'll. See you in the next one, I suppose. Absolutely. Go give it a watch, that's not what you think. Yep. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram. Like please. and subscribe. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good luck. <laughs>